Hey, it's Kim here and welcome to Projection First Light by Shadow Play Studios. This is a game that I saw at my first ever PAX and is actually the first game I ever played at a PAX. And I remember being so surprised when they gave me a pin at the end of playing the demo. Girl, it starts straight away. We move and we press A. So we've got to jump and we've got to run. I don't really, ooh, gorgeous. I like the way the background pops in and out. So this is all based on looking like shadow puppets, which is something that drew me to the game because I am a sucker for a cool art style. And the next thing is that you get a light and you can manipulate the shadows to create platforms. This is our family. I'm picking up my backpack and we're going to give my mum a hug. Oh, kiss! Okay, so that's so cute! So I was completely enamoured with this game when I saw it and got to play it. Crime! That's not a great title for what's going to happen. And I just, I couldn't wait for it to come out. I've been following it since. And actually when I tried podcasting, because I thought I'd try it. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm going to steal the apple. Don't see me do it. <sighs> Should at least say thank you. Oh no, they've noticed! He knew that he had one apple just sitting there. <laughs> now what am I going to do with you, child? What am I going to do with this apple? I can't sell it. It's been eaten. And we just He's letting me go though, so not pressing charges, that's great. So when I tried podcasting, I actually spoke to one of the devs about it as well, which was really fun, also scary. Didn't stick with podcasting. Oh, we're getting our light. Our light is the butterfly. And I also kind of just want to say thank you to the publishers Blowfish Studios because they actually gave me a key to this game so I get to play it. Which is really fun and really cool of them. X. So move things. Oh, over here. I see now. Look at this tutorial teaching me. Please stop, butterfly. Maybe if I get a jar, you could. <laughs> I gotta stop taking people's things. Everyone's gonna be so mad at me. I'm trying to capture a butterfly. I'm stealing apples and jars. Knocking at everything off. Watch out, sir. I'm really determined to get this butterfly. Careful, just come here, or is she saying stay? Oof. I love that you can see all the sticks as well, and the way it fades into the background, it gets blurry because it's further away from the light. And shadow puppets have been around for ages. I feel like they're probably like a BC thing. <laughs> and to me they really seem like the start to, oh that's a cop. Don't notice me in my jar that I stole. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I got the butterfly. I'm gonna get arrested for jumping on top of a cop car. How did the handbrake come undone? <laughs> uh, whoops. <laughs> no. It was not me, sir. I did not take the handbrake off the car. Punishment. So we've had crime, now we're getting punishment. My parents are taking me away. Why would you do this, daughter? I gave you a kiss because I love you. Mom, you see, there was a butterfly and it was really pretty and I just had to have it because I'm a selfish child that doesn't think of consequences. I'm going to go to my room and play my Game Boy while I think on this. A poor butterfly. I'm really angry about it. I've forgotten what button is X. X is the left one. Let's kick everything! 
Butterfly is free! Now what are you gonna do? Escape. Should I take my backpack? No. Ooh, secret room. Because I really feel like these are the lead to movies, if you think about it. And I've been to festivals before where they have like masters of shadow puppets and they can do all the different puppets themselves and they've all got joints and they can do all of it and they're coloured and they can do the music at the same time because they all have little drums and things. Absolutely incredible. Our child has gone missing. Where is she? How do we not know about the secret little attic in our own house? Oh jeez, I've got far. I've got my backpack back. I'm so determined to get that butterfly bush. They're not on the same level as me. I thought I was gonna die. Get it! I don't know how I plan to catch it now. I don't have a jar. Walk into the forest. I love the way it all pops up. Shadow theatre. This, this is where I started, I reckon, at PAX. Because I've definitely not seen the plot before, or the starting, the start of the plot, but I remember the Shadow Theatre was something. Oh, the dust! Look at that, that's cute. Uh-oh. Absolutely, the art style. Oops. Whoa. Here we go. This is where we're getting the hint at how we use shadows as platforms before we have control of it ourselves. Very cool. So now we can stand on it. It's very, very, very neat. I love it when an art style and a concept comes together so strongly. And from what I remember from my podcast, because I didn't re-listen to it, but I feel like they talked about visiting different cultures where shadow puppets, whoops, have been significant in history and taking inspiration from those cultures as far as the art styles. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that as we play through. I'm gonna get that butterfly today. If it's the last thing I do. It's not a butterfly anymore, it's just the light. Oh. Ah, oh, here we go. So this is now, we see the shadows up here at the top. We now have control. And you can see how badly I understand how lighting works. <laughs> So it's a little like Brothers where you bring you, well you're um, you're moving two control sticks to play the level which is definitely not I was not great at it when I played Brothers so we're going to see how we do now because definitely this is more of a um, think it through, get the light in the right position situation, whereas Brothers, it was almost like I had to actually control two people at once, which then left me kind of forgetting one brother and leaving him behind. What if we just 
discovered old popcorn machine. This is, I don't know if I'm doing that correctly, but we're gonna take it. So eerie, but it doesn't feel threatening. This stage feels kind of calm. Piano is gorgeous. I know I'm always talking about how much I love piano music in games, but it's such a great instrument. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing better at this than I did when I was playing it at PAX the first time. I feel like I had a lot of help from the people at the stand. Oh! That. Kind of gives me, not exactly vibes like Hollow Knight, but because Hollow Knight's a lot more threatening, but it's still that simple look that really draws me in. Look at the hands in the trees, like how intricate this is. It looks like lace. That's gorgeous. Imagine if you're actually making them out of paper and card and things like that. take a long time to do that. Seems to be when I get closer to the object, the shadow goes further. I think I'm getting the hang of it. Oh, I can move pots. Has that helped me get up? Oh, maybe it'll give me a shadow. Don't know if that's a bug. <laughs> too bothered about where did I put that before to get over here there we go don't think I'm going to be too bothered about getting all the butterflies but if I see the way to get them as I go I will oh is this 
this an enemy? Or do you think they're kind? What if I put a shadow there? Will they mind? Okay, they're still just shooting that way. I just feel like... I should not stand in front of them. So let's try and just... Have a cutscene instead. Can they see my stand? Like, hey, come down. That wasn't very kind. I think we're an absolute rascal. They like me though, they think I'm funny. Nice to meet you. Am I gonna get a bow and arrow now? It's not something I would have expected in this game. Look at how intricate the design is. Nice to meet you too. Like th it's like they've got slight, it's like it'd be, if it was actually cut out, it would be half done or something instead of an actual hole so the light doesn't fully permeate. There we go. Oh, and then walk off the edge. That was clever. Cast a shadow with this one. Oh. Definitely have to think a lot about what you're doing. Said I wasn't gonna sit and collect butterflies and here I am, sitting and collecting butterflies. And that's where we're going. I didn't even need it anyway. That seems dangerous. Oh, we're up. We're heading somewhere new to the village. We seem to have made it somewhere. The pause button just told me I'm in Indonesia, which is really cool. Never actually, ooh, this is gonna be tricky. Been there myself. But this looks really pretty, oops. Okay, let's do that again. It's kind of like using it like an elevator. I don't know whether to go this way, or to explore, it's indecision, it's so hard. Because part of me's like, what if it's just a butterfly and you ruin everything by going out there to get it? And then you have to do it all again, all your climbing. But we've made it and it's okay. Lot. Got a lot of pots. A lot of pots. 
probably what I'd call my pot business. <laughs> you can interpret that how you will. Hey, we made it. Hello. Are they having an argument? I'm not paying any attention to me, that's for sure. We'll just keep going. Let's take the little elevator. There we go, yes. I don't know if that's an advanced technique, a correct technique, but it's working well for me. We're going to pull the cable. We're going to be confused about what we do next. Oh, hello. And also, there is someone else from your village. Do you two know each other? I don't know what that means. Your hands and your heads. She's not sure either. Yay, well done! <laughs> I don't know why we did that. <laughs> Maybe if we do it with them? Hello, we want to put your hand on my head. Maybe it's a sign of respect. Gets us through again. Drums are getting exciting. And that's where we're going to leave it for today. I'm really liking this. It's nice and chill. It's a little bit fiddly, but it's not too bad. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for this one. If you'd like to hang out some more, hit subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.